Now your soulmate client is your ideal customer. And I really believe at a very deep level that to be successful in business, you can't try and be everything to everyone. Don't try and please everybody. Not everybody's gonna be your customer, not everybody's gonna be your client. But as soon as you start making everything you do from your marketing to your delivery of your products or your services, to be specific to your soul mate clients. So these are people who really connect with you on a deep soul level. And sometimes you can't put into words why that person is your soulmate client. You just know that there's a connection there in some way. But often your soulmate client is you before your transformation. So I'm just gonna explain what that means. So the best way to explain this is an example of when I went through the chronic illness of ME. So I was very ill and then I healed myself. So that was a transformation. Then I started teaching other people and my soulmate clients were people who were either going through an illness or they were going through a difficult time with their health. Now, over the years, my soulmate clients have slightly changed, but my clients tend to be me before the transformation. So even in a business point of view, even if we go back to the money side of things, many of my soulmate clients are women in wellness who teach maybe yoga or face yoga or they're holistic practitioners or they're in well-being some way or they have a business or career where they feel self-care and well-being is an important part of it and they want to scale that business and understand how they can scale that business to a multiple six-figure business but they want to do it in a soulful way a conscious way, a way that makes them help other people, but they're still looking after themselves and their self-care along the way. And they're having a really beautiful balance in life. So they have time, not only for their own health, but also for the people in their lives around them. 